Hey everybody, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Review. We're in sunny Naples, Florida today. It's about 82 degrees. Let's go see what's in the fridge. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by the beer review today. Today's beer is Breckenridge's Lucky You IPA. This beer comes from the Breckenridge Brewery. It is American IPA coming in at 6.20 ABV. Uh, it has rotating schedule here, so I'm exactly not sure when they produce this beer, but more than likely it's a in the summertime beer. I just picked this up uh, uh, about two weeks ago, so doesn't have a date on the bottle to tell us how old it is, so hopefully it still has some hot presence being an IPA, so we'll see here shortly. Uh, the food pairings are your normal IPA pairings, your curry and Thai food, your cheeses would be your pepper, your Monterey, your pepper jack, uh, your more pungent cheeses, your blue cheeses. Uh, the uh, meat for this would be the poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon, so... Uh, it's not recommended for extended cellaring, so let's get the cap off of it and see what we got going on. Glass for today is a pint glass. You could use the uh, the mug, the stein, or the becker, or just about anything you want to pour it in. You do want to pour it out, though. You don't want to drink it out of the bottle. Pour it into something. It looks uh, not super clear. Uh, Got a little chill haze on it, probably. Poured about a half a finger of head. Uh, quite a few bubbles in there, screaming up to the top there. But, uh, looks rather citrusy. Let's see what we got on our nose. It is, uh, a little citrusy there. Nice presence. Got a malt smell to it, too. Now it's pretty typical IPA. It smells very nice, so. Give it a taste. Mm. Mm. Tastes a lot like a uh, like a home brew IPA would taste. Interesting. Mm. It's got a little bit of a like a homebrew taste of beer. Usually, and what I mean by that is uh, it's not got that clean aftertaste. It's got a little bit of a maybe a some some kind of ester is coming off of the, the beer. Not in the smell, but in the taste. But I'm going to sip on it, uh, see what see what that changes to, and if it does change any, and we'll be back in just a second, and we'll do the final chug and the final grade. Stick around. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. Uh, I've been sipping on this for about 20, 30 minutes. This is not impressive at all. Technically, as a home brewer, this is what this smells like. This smells like a home brew, and it tastes like a home brew. Uh, I've actually made beer better than this, and the friends in the brew club make beer all the time better than this. So, final chug. Now, this is a below average beer. Uh, on my scale tonight, this is going to get a four. Uh, Rate beer gives this a 68 overall and a 35 in the style. Very advocates reviews come up with a V on the average there, so uh, I can't disagree with that last remark. It uh, more, it's uh, it's not a good beer. Uh, 
lucky you, uh, lucky you IPA, be lucky you if you avoid this beer, that would be the luck there, so uh, not a good beer. If you've had it, let me know what you think, uh, I can't recommend it, it gets a 4 on the scale of out of 10, uh, so uh, let me know, uh, rate, comment, subscribe guys, and we'll see you, hopefully the next beer will be a little bit better.